Lizzie. Is <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are getting a few odds and ends done around the house and giving ourselves some grace when not everything is checked off our to-do list. I began my day with Aubrey by filling up an igloo with some drinks for the men working on our backyard. We tried to have something for them whenever they are here working to show our gratitude for their hard work. Then we moved on to folding laundry, which was still sitting in the dryer from the day before. Comment below if you are guilty of this too. After the laundry was folded, I decided to set up my new hanging hampers. I'd like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this set of hanging laundry hampers, which is really going to help our sorting situation. For a while now, we've been collecting our white towels in the laundry room until enough for a load is ready, and collecting the rest of our clothes in one main hamper, which I still need to go through and sort because Jack's skin appears to be sensitive to some of the scented beads we use in our laundry. So these two hampers are going to solve those problems. The hampers come with hooks to make them easy to hang in a closet or on a rod and handles to make transporting them to the laundry room more comfortable. I plan on using one to collect our towels in and the other for Juan's work uniforms. If these seem like something you could use in your own home, check out my description box down below. I will place the Amazon link to the products there for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's go ahead and fix Aubrey's hair before watering some plants in our front yard while Jack naps. This has been one of Aubrey's favorite activities lately, keeping our plants alive out front. There are a few plants that seem to not be getting enough water from our irrigation system that the builders installed, and we don't want them to die, so we've been watering them off and on. There are three plants in particular that need some extra love, but Aubrey loves to water a different plant, which she has claimed as her own. I pretty much have to beg her to water the roses that are actually in need of water. While we were outside this day, Aubrey and I noticed that some of the grassy looking plants seem to be much smaller than usual. I figured I would look at some of our camera footage, which confirmed that a donkey was munching on them earlier that morning. So it looks like I won't have to worry too much about front yard maintenance from now on. Next up, we are going to place one of Jack's ultrasound photos in one of the frames that we have in our living room. Both of the original ultrasound photos are of Aubrey. I love her chubby cheeks in the first photo and how she is making a stinky face in the second photo. But I wanted to have both of my kids represented here and I finally found Jack's 4D ultrasound photo, so I figured it was time to display it next to our sign that reads, Sweet Little Lima Beans. I knew from this picture that Jack was going to look similar to Aubrey when he was born, and I was right. It's crazy how similar they look when they were newborns. There is no doubt that they are related. After adding Jack's photo to the display, it was time to edit one of my videos. Lately, this has been a major struggle for me. I've been editing videos the night before and staying up way too late to keep to my schedule, like I'm doing now. I hope that once everything is finally unpacked and organized, I will get ahead of my schedule with my videos. But unfortunately, that is not the case for now. I just can't seem to find a good enough stretch of time to work uninterrupted. So if I ever miss a day, that's why. Finally, it was time to make one of Juan's favorite snacks, his cheesy chili Dorito dip. I had some cream cheese that I had been meaning on using up, so it was the perfect time to make this dip. 
In general, Vaughn likes to use half a brick of cream cheese per can of chili. You simply add the two ingredients to a saucepan and cook it over medium heat until everything is hot and incorporated. You can serve this with tortilla chips, but we love eating it with Doritos. But be warned, it is addicting. Later that evening, I still had some editing to do, so I got that done while enjoying some of Costco vanilla ice cream, which is the best. Sadly, I decided to postpone the dishes and picking up Aubrey's toys, but I knew my rest and sanity was more important, so I gave myself some grace. I hope you do the same if you find that you can't complete everything on your to-do list too. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I pray God blesses you in a special way today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Take a step back. Are you filming me? Yeah. I didn't work with you on your channel. If you want to do it on your channel, you want to see it? Of course. Here it is. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.